Ken, I appreciate it. It's really it's a great honor to be here. This is an incredible day for this country. We've got a first going on here in Pennsylvania, and that first is a partnership between the University of Pennsylvania, between the City of Philadelphia, represented by the police department, really value that relationship by our industrial partners and by a group of national laboratories, uh, PNNL, as you heard from uh, Dr. Kluse, Sandia National Laboratories, the Y-12 Security Complex, and just as importantly, uh, and even more so, my colleagues at uh, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and the Department of Homeland Security. It's a team effort. It's hard to work in teams like that. Let's face it, we got to work together. But the great thing about this team is it's a team that understands that they're doing something important. There's a sense of urgency to get something accomplished, and this team really did do something, quite frankly. Uh, it got something accomplished. Ben Franklin said, by, failing, by pre failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. And I can tell you, uh, based on the exercise that you did yesterday, that this university, the University of Pennsylvania, and this city, this city of Philadelphia, is not in that mode. They're preparing for success, particularly on nuclear security. And that is a tremendous statement. And what I hope to do is take this model that's moving forward that you've laid out, play off of that success, and take it around the country, because we need to do that. It's incredibly important for, this, for our nation's security here locally. I'm going to share with you a short sea story. If you probably may not know, my background is in the Navy and submarines. Uh, the first submarine I was on was the USS Skipjack. It's a nuclear-powered submarine. And I remember my commanding officer, uh, Commander Chuck Ellis, and he was tough. He always had the JOs running around the submarine constantly. We were on watch for six hours. We hoped to get six hours of sleep. Instead, we were running exercises and drills and fire drills, collision drills, flooding drills, the whole gambit. And we, after a couple of years of this, I was getting a little tired of it. I told the captain, what are we doing, sir? You know, why are we doing all these drills? He says, one day you'll thank me. Well, it wasn't but a month later we were transiting the Atlantic, underwater, of course, uh, when I was walking back after about midnight to take the watch back in the engineering spaces, and I smelled smoke. And because Commander Ellis insisted that we do realistic training, that when we did our training for fires, we actually had eye patches on so we couldn't see anything. We had to feel our way around the submarine, plug in our emergency air breathing apparatus, and we knew where everything was blindfolded. It was because of his dedication to training, to being prepared, that we survived that fire, because there was a fire in that submarine, and within about 15 seconds, the whole place filled up with smoke. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. So I became a believer at that point, at a fairly young age, that practicing is very important. Doing exercises are very important. And that's why I'm tremendously proud of the work that the university has done, that the Philadelphia Police Department has done. They know the value and the importance of exercising, and that's what they did yesterday. My job as administrator is to worry about nuclear security worldwide, but it's more than worry about it, it's actually do something about it. And today's, today's events, today's event really celebrates a significant effort over the past months and years of doing something real that actually measurably improves nuclear security. And that's what we've got here in front of us. And you can be sure I'm going to take that back to Washington. When I testify, when I meet with senators, now that I know that there's a caucus coming up, uh, being established, I'm going to try to make, get myself invited to that and tell them about the great work that you've done here. And I'm going to trumpet your success. You can count on it. I believe that my commanding officer, Chuck Ellis, he's retired now. He's in Texas. will be very proud of what we've done here today. We've gotten ourselves ready. And we've gotten ourselves ready in a very obvious and clear way. And being able to discuss this publicly is what I'm immensely proud of the work that you've done. Another tradition we have in the Navy is to recognize success, uh, recognize incredible achievements and doing something important. And so I have, I'm going to take the opportunity here, and Ken's going to help me uh, talk through the awards, present some awards on behalf of the Department of Energy, the NNSA, my federal colleagues in the Department of Homeland Security and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. And I thank you all for this tremendous accomplishment. Thank you.